Danny Segura with MMA Joint PA USA Today Sports. Steven Espinosa, Showtime Sports. Uh, Steven, can you first of all tell us we're here in Miami, obviously. Uh, um, we have a uh, global Paul taking on Floyd Mayweather. Um, and now you guys recently signed with also his brother, Jake Paul. Can you talk about having both uh, Paul brothers under, under the umbrella? Yeah, it's something that, quite honestly, I, I wouldn't have uh, predicted six months ago, um, probably six weeks ago. Um, you know, it, it, it just happened. You know, obviously, we've been in business with Floyd Mayweather for a long time. He signed to do the fight, um, wanted us involved, and of course, you know, we've had a real successful partnership. And sort of simultaneously, but on a, a parallel track, you know, we started conversations with uh, uh, with Jake and, and Nikisa, his manager. Um, there was an opportunity because you know, he had uh, his deal with Triller was up, and he was looking around. And you know, it would be uh, it would have been silly of us not to have the conversation because the reality is, you know, he's he's proven he's skilled. He's proven he's not a flash in the pan. Um, and really, the main conversation we had with Jake was. You know, what does he want to do? Like, what are his ambitions? What are his goals? Um, and if he really wants to go about this as a serious boxer and build a legacy in the sport, then we're, you know, then that's what we're talking about. That's what we do. Yeah. And uh, for how long are the uh, Paul brothers under the Showtime banner? Well, Jake, we've got a multi-fight deal with Jake, you know, and look, um, if, if it works, uh, you know, I'd, I'd like it to be the last deal that he ever signs. Um, you know, this is something where I'm convinced he's committed to it long run. Um, you can see just in the first four fights, every fight has been slightly more difficult. You know, he's taking challenges, he's taking legitimate fighters. Uh, and people, you know, people want him to take a, a really high level boxer. You have to understand he didn't have a, he didn't have an amateur career. This is his amateur education. So uh, as long as he's continuing to progress and take on risk, then I think, you know, I think boxing fans will embrace him. And, and what are your thoughts on Jake? I mean, you've been around combat sports for such a long time. Um, a lot of people criticize Jake for maybe not being skilled, you know, just being an entertainer. But mm -hmm. you've seen prospects, you've seen veterans. Um, what do you make of Jake's uh, skill set and uh, his fighting? Well, I don't, I don't think people realize how much time he spends on it. You know, what a priority. You know, or Logan, for that matter, either. I mean, these guys are serious, like real training camps, going to Puerto Rico, spending time. I know guys who are in the gym with them. Um, I know guys who have sparred them. I know the guys who train them. Um, you know, and yeah, is he at the start of his career, and does he have you know things he can work on? Absolutely. Um, but you know that doesn't mean that you know he's not a legitimate participant in the sport. It means he's a young fighter and a young fighter with a huge following. And I, I think if it was any following other than social media, people wouldn't give it a, a doubt. You know, if he had made a name in the Olympics and then come in, and then no one would be asking questions. He just happened to make his name in social media, you know, and he's a talented young athlete. And uh, obviously you were part of the big, big, big fight between Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather. That brought a lot of entertainment. We were just at the Versace match for me today. It seems with uh, Jake and, and Logan, obviously very different to McGregor, but a lot of entertainment comes with it. Uh, will we ever see you part of that? Because we know you were a little bit part of the tour. <laughs> over at, uh, I, I, I hope not. Like, I, I have... Uh, I have no interest in becoming the, the Vince McMahon of boxing. You know, uh, the McGregor thing was sort of happenstance, um, and uh, you know, uh, you know, I certainly could have built it more, um, but uh, you know, that that's that's not what I want my career to be based on. That's not uh, where it is. So I I, I don't think uh, I'll get pulled into it. But as soon as you say that, of course, that's the next thing to happen. Yeah. For sure. And uh, lastly, Jake, and I'll ask you mm. just a couple of things real quick about the mm. Um Jake is taking on Tyron Woodley later this season, I thought. So, a like, big fight, obviously, Tyron Woodley, former UFC champion, fought in strikes versus as well. Um, mm. Huge step up. A lot of people were surprised by this. Uh, what do you make of the booking, and were you surprised when the fight was was uh, was made? Because, uh, I mean, it's a big step up. Yeah, I, I, I am surprised, because you can say, you know, striker or not striker, or you're 39 years or not. The reality is, is Tyron Woodley has been a fighter his entire life. You know, he's been a professional fighter his entire life and at an elite level. So it doesn't matter if he's lost a couple fights or, you know, is, you know, not not been active, at, you know, in his later years. The reality is he is a professional fighter, you know, and he has uh, elite skills. So this is a very risky fight. There is uh, a lot of risk in this for Jake. And honestly, I was, uh, I was slightly surprised he took it. But the reality is um, that's one of the things that convinced us to get involved.
is he's looking for these kinds of challenges. He wants to answer the doubters, you know, and with that kind of attitude, we're happy to be involved. Yeah. And, uh, and one last thing with the matter, you know, some people have gone out here and said, you know, hey, bring the Paul Brothers, it's bad for boxing, you know, it's a bad look. Obviously, Showtime has a long record of having mm -hmm. good boxing fights and quality, quality stuff, but can you speak to that a little bit? Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, you know, I think, look, there's, not everybody is going to like everything that we do. You know, our, our goal is really to serve the combat sports fan. And that starts with, you know, young boxers on Showbox, elite pay-per-view boxers, um, you know, the, the addition of MMA through, uh, through Bellator, and, and now th this element. So the reality is, you know, we serve, we're a first serve, full service place for the combat sports fan. You like documentaries, you know, great. We've got a great one on, on the Four Kings coming up. Uh, Hector Macho Camacho. You know. So the, the reality is, you know, we're trying to fill each bucket. Not everyone is going to like every bucket, but if it's part of legitimate combat sports, we're going to be participating in, you know, at the top level. Yeah. And uh, just real quick, talk about the acquisition of the Bellator brand. I mean, uh, obviously a, a huge move back into mixed martial arts. So uh, what does it feel like to have MMA back on Showtime? And also, uh, what are some of the plans and some of the things you look forward to working with uh, Bellator? Uh, we're, we're thrilled. Ever since we got um, out of the business back in you know, strike force was absorbed by UFC, we wanted to get back. We wanted to get back in UFC. And, and quite honestly, um, Bellator probably hadn't matured to the point where their talent base was, uh, was sort of worthy of, of premium TV. Um, but where it is today, it's definitely worthy of being, it's, it's, it's the best talent space they've ever had. I think there's a lot of underappreciated and underrated fighters over there. And our job is to help them get the appreciation. Um, you know, Patricio Pitbull, who we, we saw just a while ago and is gonna have a monster fight with AJ McKee. Um, he's one of the top 10 pound for pound fighters, you know, regardless of, of the division in the sport, I believe. You know, it doesn't matter if you're talking UFC or not UFC. Um, these are the top tier fighters. And, you know, our job is to help people realize that a little bit more readily. All right, Steve, I appreciate the time. Absolutely. Your time here in Miami. All right, great. Thanks.